So today we're gonna be talking about six things you shouldn't be buying at the grocery store. So stick around. Hello fellow wealth builders and welcome back to the True Financials channel. As I just mentioned, we're gonna be talking about six things you shouldn't buy at the grocery store. But first, if you are new here, my name is Dennis and on this show, we love to talk about personal finance, investing and retirement to help build your wealth. So definitely consider subscribing today and don't forget to hit that little bell icon to get notifications when new videos and live streams go up. All right, so of course, these items are going to be subjective based off of your preferences and the way you want to save time versus money because that's probably going to be the most important thing when it comes to these items is the amount of time it takes versus how much you actually spend on these items. And you're going to see here in just a little bit what I mean by that. So let me know in the comment section down below, is there anything that you wouldn't buy at the grocery store? I'd love to hear from you in the community. So the first item is going to be pre-cut produce. Now this one is a big one in my eyes because I see how much it costs to get like a pre-cut set of pineapple versus just actually buying a pineapple and cutting it up myself. Now, as I alluded earlier, a lot of these items on this list are going to, uh, involve time saving versus the actual cost of the item. Because for you, if it means saving that much more time from having to cut up the pineapple um, and that deems it worthy for you, of course, then that's gonna be worth it for you to pay that extra amount. But from what I always see, the amount that it charges for you uh, versus what it would cost you to, or versus the time it would take you to actually just cut it up and how much more you get of it is significant enough for me to just go ahead and do it myself. But for the most part, it's not just saving the money, but it's the amount that you get out of it too. So if you ever look at how much you get from a pineapple Apple uh, pre-cut versus how much you get actually from a full cut pineapple, it's a big, big difference. So not only are you saving money, but you actually get more of that produce. You know, the same thing with like watermelon or, um, you know, just all the different fruits that they have at the grocery store all pre-cut for you. So uh, pre-cut groceries is definitely something you don't want to be buying if you're not wanting to spend that extra money uh, to help save that time. So next up is going to be pre packaged snacks. Now, if you're buying like a big thing of, you know, prepackaged snacks, that might save you a little bit of time when it comes to, let's say like pretzels. If you buy pre-bagged pretzels, um, so you have them in individual packages, it might save you a little bit of time, but it is definitely going to cost you more than if you just bought like a big bag of pretzels and maybe put them into Ziploc bags. Now, of course, Ziploc bags also cost money, but those are also reusable. So you can reuse those bags if needed. Um, so you can repackage uh, them every single day. So getting your own bag and packaging them yourself is going to save you a lot more per ounce. Now, next up on the list, this is not something I personally buy myself, but uh, when I was doing the research for this video, I definitely noticed this as well, but a lot of grocery stores sell diapers um, and that can cost you a lot. Now, I know the convenience of just being able to buy your diapers directly at the same place that you're having to get your groceries from, but the amount that you're spending versus what you can pay for uh, those diapers in a different location. So I actually did the research and I looked up on Amazon how much diapers cost versus what they cost in the stores at the grocery store. It is significantly cheaper to have them actually order and ship to your house from Amazon than it is to buy them at the grocery store. So if it's a convenience issue and if you already have Amazon, you can actually order them online or you can even check at your other locations such as Target or Costco to be able to save a little bit more money in that department. And again, I don't actually have to purchase diapers, at least not yet. So, but that was just one thing I noticed when, again, I was doing the research for this content. So next up is going to be cooked chicken, whether it's that rotisserie chicken or you know chicken tenders that you can buy at the grocery store, you're going to be paying a lot more and getting a a lot less than if you bought everything personally yourself. Again, it's all about time saving, right? So if it means you saving a lot more time uh, to be able to buy those things, that can be worth it for you, but you just need to make sure that it is valuable in the amount of money that you're gonna be spending versus the time that you get back. And if you notice, a lot of these items on this list are actually all about having everything kind of pre-done for you. When it comes to the grocery store, if things are pre-done or pre-cooked for you, you're always gonna end up paying more because you're saving that time to actually do it. So that, uh, that convenience for you is gonna to come to the point of having to pay more money for that product. So always keep that in mind. If you're buying things that are pre-made, you're going to be spending a lot more money to be able to get those items. And it's not necessarily saying that it's a bad thing to spend more money to save time. By no means am I saying that, but you know, you just want to take in consideration as well too. So if you're saving, you know, 30 minutes of cooking because you bought a pre-made chicken, you want to make sure that you're utilizing that time properly for you. So that way that money that you spend isn't going to waste. So if you save 30 minutes, make sure that you are aware of like where you're going to be 
spending that 30 minutes, whether it's with family, whether it's on business, whether it's, you know, leisure for yourself, whatever the case may be. Um, I would always say, you know, making sure that you understand that you're saving that time so you can spend it elsewhere in a proper manner. All right, next up is going to be a big one. It is houseware. So everything that comes with like pots, pans, utensils for the, uh, for the kitchen, that's a big one because a lot of times I think what ends up happening for people is while they're shopping for their groceries and they walk past that aisle with, you know, the frying pans and, you know, the spatulas, you know, they might be thinking in their head, okay, do I have everything I need to be able to make the dishes that I'm, you know, planning for? And if you look at the prices in comparison to, you know, places like JCPenney or even Amazon or other places, you're going to end up spending a lot more money at the grocery store buying those things because it's a convenience factor uh, versus actually, you know, just going to a regular store that has those already set for you. So make sure you know ahead of time before going to the grocery store that you have all the equipment to be able to make the food that you're planning for that week. And if not, maybe holding off on those items until you can order those or purchase some from a local area that can actually save you some more money instead of, instead of buying them at that grocery store. So number six, actually, I don't even know if I've been numbering them all the way through here, but this is the last one, so it doesn't really matter at this point. So the last one is actually gonna be body wash and shampoo and conditioner. So um, every single time I go to the grocery store, I tend to forget that I need body wash or shampoo and conditioner. And so I go down these aisles and I look at the prices and they're always so expensive. Again, because it's more of a convenience factor because they're typically a grocery store, so they're looking to sell you food uh, and not as necessarily these other things. So they're gonna charge a higher price for them. So I tend to obviously not want to buy those things at that grocery store because it's gonna cost me so much more money. So I plan ahead and make sure that I buy those things from the other local areas that I wanna get them from. I typically like to buy things like shampoo and body wash uh, and those kind of likes from Target versus versus buying them from my grocery store just because I'm able to save so much more money doing it that way versus buying them from the grocery store since the convenience factor makes it charge just a little bit more. Now, I do know there are a lot of people out there that are great at couponing, um, so they can actually save money regardless of where they buy them, but I always see that I end up saving a lot more money buying the uh, body wash, the shampoo and conditioners from places like Target versus places such as my grocery store. So as I mentioned earlier, let me know in the comment section down below, was there anything that I didn't mention that you don't buy at the grocery store to help save you some money? Let me know in that comment section down below. We'd definitely like to hear from you in the community. So as I mentioned throughout this video too, a lot of this has to do with the amount that you're spending versus the time that it takes to get that stuff. So if it's a convenience for you, definitely go ahead and continue to buy those things. Uh, but these are typically the six things that I see most often in a grocery store uh, since doing this research about you know what it costs to what you actually get out of it. If you haven't already seen it, I have a video where I take you through my grocery shopping experience. Uh, I'll put that video right here in the card so you can check that out after this video is completed. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and then share this out on any of your favorite social media sites. Thank you so much fellow Wealth Builders for watching and have a great day. So the first and four, first one is going, mm, I never buy pre-cut, uh, to be pre, so the first item is going to be pre-cut, all right, if you made it to the end of this video and you'd like to continue watching, I have two more videos for you here. The top video is going to be my most recent release and the bottom video is going to be the one that YouTube recommends for you if you'd like to continue watching.